and welcome to this session. This is Professor Farhat. In this session, we would look at the unified tax credit, which is part of the transfer tax. This topic is covered in a corporate income tax course, the CPA exam regulation section, as well as the enrolled agent exam. As always, I would like to remind you to connect with me on LinkedIn if you haven't done so. YouTube is where you would need to subscribe. I have 1,000. 600 plus accounting auditing finance and tax lectures this is a list of all the courses that i cover please connect with me on instagram on my website you'll have access to additional material such as powerpoint slides true false multiple choice if you're studying for your cpa exam 2000 plus cpa questions so if you're studying for the exam i strongly exact i strongly suggest you take a look so let's go through the estate tax formula which is the fair value of gross estate, which is what I call line one, minus the deductions, the expenses, and the losses on line two. And if you want to see the lectures for, for line one and line two plus examples, see the link below in the description so you can view those. Because if you don't understand how we compute gross estate, how we, how we, what's deductible and what's not, it's not very helpful for this session. Those will give you taxable estate. We're going to add to the taxable estate any taxable gift, which I would also put in the description link to the taxable gift. If you don't know how to compute the taxable gift, then that's going to give us the equal the estate tax basis. So notice what happened here. We have the estate and the gift tax added together because they are practically the same thing. Gifts are when you are alive, you gave those gifts. Estate is when you passed away, those gifts are pay, passed to, to your hers or your friends or your family, whoever they are. Then we compute your tentative tax liability, whatever that tax liability is. Then we deduct any tax credit you paid on those gifts, if any, when you were alive. Then we deduct the unified tax credit. So I'm trying to emphasize the unified tax credit here because that's the big thing. The unified tax credit less any other tax credit. Then if anything left, it's the estate tax due if that number is positive. So we need to understand how this unified tax credit fit into this whole picture. Before we look at numbers, let's take a look at the tax uh, the tax table. Okay, so this tax table is for gift maids and for death after 2012. After 2012, and I am doing this recording in 2020. I don't know. You could be viewing this recording in 2022. It could change, but the concept will be the same. So what does that mean? If you happen to have, if the amount with respect to which the tentative tax can be uh, to be computed is 10,000. Then you pay 18%. Between 10,000 and 20,000, 1,800,000 plus 20% of the amount over 10,000. So on and so forth. I'm going to be working always with over a million to illustrate the concept because my formula is going to be that. So if you have um, taxable income over a million, your tax is 345,800 plus 40% 40% of the excess uh, amount over a million dollars. So to, to, to illustrate this concept, to illustrate this concept, I'm going to show you how it works. So let's assume. No, let's not assume anything. Let's clarify one point before we proceed. Then, then if you don't know this, you are you are giving a lifetime exclusion. This is a lifetime. This is not one time thing. This is throughout your lifetime when you are alive and when you pass away. You can give a lifetime of eleven million four hundred thousand. What does that mean? It means when you were living. You could have gave five million dollars in gifts. Then when you passed away, your estate had three million dollars in value. Well, three plus five equal to eight. Guess what? You don't have to pay a penny in taxes because there's an exclusion of how much? Of eleven point four million. So up to eleven point four million. You don't have to worry about paying taxes. Let's translate this. Let's translate this a little bit further. What does that mean? Let's assume you had to pay taxes. Let's assume there was no exclusion. Let's assume you had to pay taxes. How much will you pay taxes if you had 11.4 million of gross estate and gift tax? Let me show you the computation. So if you have 11.4 million of gross estate and tax, your tax bill would have been 345,800 plus the amount in excess of a million, which is 10,400,000 times 40%. What, what did I get this from? I got this from this one right here. I told you I'm going to be working with the amount over a million. So, so assuming you have 11.4 million, 
when we compute your taxes, your taxes are four million five hundred and five thousand eight hundred dollars. This is your tax credit from the unified tax credit. So if I told you you have an ex exclusion amount of eleven million four hundred thousand, or I told you your total tax credit is four million five hundred five thousand eight hundred dollars, basically the same thing. It's either Simply put, as long as my gross estate and gifts, gift tax don't exceed 11400000 I don't have to worry about anything. Or another way to say it, if I have a bill of $4,500,000, $5,800, I, I can wipe out my taxes with this tax credit. Okay? So it's saying the same thing. But the, the best way to illustrate this is to actually look at a few examples. And I'll, I will change the numbers to show you how this works. Because it's very important that you appreciate it. Just see how it works. Okay? So let's go to the Excel sheet to see how this all fits together. Okay, let's take a look at this Excel sheet. I created this Excel sheet very similar to the formula that we have. Gross uh, fair, market, fair market value of gross estate less the expenses deduction and losses equal to the taxable estate. Um, add the post-1976 taxable gift equal to the estate tax. Compute your taxes, less any gift, less gift tax paid on post-1976 gift, less the unified tax credit, which we already, I already computed for you, 4,500,000, 5,800. Just ignore this number for now, negative 54. Okay, so this is basically the formula. So I'm going to start with the simplest example and tell you, assuming we have a gross estate of 11,400,000. We had no deduction, therefore our taxable estate is 11,400,000. We had no gifts, no gift. We did not gift any gift during our lifetime, that's zero. So our estate taxable gift is 11,400,000. Our tax liability is $4,505,800. I did not pay any taxes on gifts because I didn't give any gifts. I introduced my unified tax credit, which is I already told you how I compute this. I don't have any taxes because that $4,500,800 is wiped out. That tax bill is wiped out by my unified tax credit. Okay, so let's work. Uh, I'm going to always be working with an amount over a million because my formula is over a million. So if you want to use an amount less than a million, you have to go in here and change this. So if your amount is between 750, your tax, the tentative tax is between 750 and a million, you have to change the formula to 248,300. So you have to change this to 248,300 to 248,300 plus, you know, uh, 39. This will have to change to 39% rather than 40 plus 39% of the access over 750. So you have to change the formula here. Uh, the formula here, you know, B5 minus 750. But I'm going to be working with a over a million dollar tax bill this way, I can use the formula. So let's go back and let's assume you have fair market value of the gross estate is 15 million. Um, you have expenses and losses deductible of a million. Now we have taxable estate of 14 million. Let's assume during your lifetime you gave 2 million worth of gifts. That's going to give us a um, estate tax basis of 16 million and let's assume you did not pay any taxes on those gifts you paid zero because you didn't have to because they were b below the exclusion you paid zero let's assume that's the case now your tax bill is six million three hundred forty five thousand eight hundred you have a tax credit of four million five hundred four million five oh five eight hundred so your tax bill is one million eight hundred and forty let's assume when you made those two million of gifts you happen to pay ten percent which is two hundred thousand so if you pay taxes 200,000, that taxes will be counted and your tax bill now will be your tax bill now in red will be, will be reduced. If you happen to pay 250 on those taxes during your lifetime, now your tax bill is 1,590,000. So you could now based on this formula, let's change the number. Let's assume uh, let's assume your uh, your gross estate was 13 million. You have 1 million in expenses of 13 million. You have 1 million in expenses, now you're down to 12 million. And let's assume, uh, yes, 12 million. And let's assume your tax, you did not have any taxable gifts. Let's assume you have taxable gift of 2 million, that's fine. You have 14 million of estate tax basis. 14 million, that's going to give you a tax of 5,545,000, assuming you paid nothing during your lifetime. Then, <laughs> that's 1040, wow, what a coincidence. So your tax bill will be. Your tax bill will be uh, 
five million five hundred forty five thousand eight hundred uh, four million five hundred and five thousand eight hundred will be wiped out because of the unified tax credit what you're left with is one million and forty thousand so hopefully um uh, you know you will uh, with this formula it will help you again if your estate tax is less than a million, you have to you have to change this formula. I'll be posting this. Uh, I'll be posting the formula on my website, so you can download the formula from my website. So I hope at this point you are comfortable. You see how the how the uh, unified tax credit work. If you are looking for additional resources, I always suggest you visit my website. And if you're studying for your CPA exam, use your resources. This is a lifetime investment. You're making a lifetime investment. Make it properly because the CPA will pay dividend for years. Good luck and study hard. In the next session, I would look at a few CPA simulations that deal with what's included in gross estimate.